Hi, it's John. It's the 7th of July and we've got potato blight about. That's early. I've, I've, I've only just, well, I've hardly started, finished planting my potatoes. Um, but mine, what I'm planting is uh, Sarpo Mara, blight resistant variety, so they should be alright. But uh, here's a case of potato blight. And that will wipe, wipe the potatoes out dead quick. And it not only affects the potatoes, but it also, uh, not only affects the tops, but it also affects the potatoes, makes them go brown and horrible. So uh, you've got to get the tops cut off and, uh, and get the potatoes dug up if you can. So what I'm going to do, any self sets about, I'm going to be digging them up. Because most of my other ones are... Um, light resistance so so they should be all right but I don't want to waste the um, I've got quite a lot of self sets about and I run out of potatoes which I kept from last year so let's see how I get on now these are some self sets which I transplanted some people don't realize well I didn't realize that that you can actually if you get self set potatoes that come up in the wrong place transplant them so I'll dig all these up and then I'll have a look, make a little pile of the potatoes and see what what um, see what they look like. They haven't, they haven't got blight these. These look all right at the moment, so that's good. Well, not much there. A couple of servings, I suppose. Um, better than nothing, I suppose. I mean, they didn't cost me anything. See, I've just got potatoes just coming up here. I just noticed they're just coming up. cane and then I can't quite see on the video but it goes down to that other cane oh that cane so there's some just coming up there but they'll be all right there's two more rows as well there and then uh, coming across here this is OCA Ocker that's just coming into flower hopefully that'll do well sort of like a potato-y sort of um, artichokey thing. Oh, here's my main potatoes here. Um, these are early, so long here, so they're not blight resistant, so I'll be digging those up shortly. And then I think the rest probably are. Uh, but I've got one self-set down here, so I'll dig that one up. See, another thing about the self-sets you know, if you're the one who, who who gets potato blight, then the rest of the allotment holders, oh, it was that John Simpson, he brought the potato blight in. But you can't really help it, can you? I mean, it wasn't me anyway. But um, so uh, it's just as well to be forewarned. This is the plot where I had the. Um, The, the gourds, swan neck gourds last year. So then I've only just taken this one on, just to, just to, um, because someone gave it up and I'm just keeping it going. Right, let's see how many I get from this one. Oh, that's better down here. Uh, they're a bit, uh, some of them a bit green and, and I put fork through some of the best ones, but the ground is so dry down here. I don't know why. It's really dry this year. That's a brick. Anyway, um, I haven't got them all. I've, I'll dig some more, more out later. Anyway, that'll be some more feeds. Bye for now.